When we first started the design for the XRS, we had four tenants that we had to strive for. We, we knew in the core that we had to make the biggest box. We had to scale, but not just scale in bandwidth, we had to scale in features. We also wanted to bring what we knew in, that was successful in the edge market, flexibility. We wanted feature flexibility brought into the core market. We also had to make sure this was an efficient platform. You couldn't require a nuclear generator to power this thing. And then lastly, we had to make sure this was proven technology. We didn't want to reinvent things. We wanted to use things that were proven. So now starting with scale, if you look out there, this is the biggest, baddest box there is. But what makes it unique is that not only is it big on scale, bandwidth, it's also big on features. We didn't skimp. In the industry, there's a lot of trade-offs going on between bandwidth and features. We decided that we couldn't do that trade-off. We had to make sure that it had both bandwidth and features at the same time. Then we wanted to layer on that flexibility. We wanted to be able to tell the customer, you know, here's the features that you want, this is what you pay for. We want to be able to offer a range of features to each one of the customer needs. Um, and then we also wanted the ability to add features in the future, have the flexibility through software, not a forklift upgrade, to be able to download new features, features we haven't even thought of before. If you look at it, you have a central box. That box has to be in a customer's site for 10, 15 years. You want that box to be able to grow. You want that box to be able to change. So what was rethought, what was um, coming from new, was this concept of flexibility of the platform. One concept of that is having field replaceable units. We have over 21 field replaceable units. We can replace everything from the normal line card that's in any chassis to the lug at the very bottom of the chassis. We can replace the core uh, central processor that's normally replaced on a box, but we can also replace the distributed processors that are on each and every line card. So we, we allow a flexibility in the fields to allow you to move and change and upgrade without actually taking out the box in a forklift upgrade or taking down the box. We had to put efficiency, both in power, space, and dollars into the core thinking. So we're doing scale, flexibility, and features all covered by efficiency. If it takes a heck of a lot of power, that's a problem. If it um, requires an entire warehouse to hold it, that's a problem. So you have to have a level of efficiency. You can't charge an omni lake for this thing. You can't require a nuclear generator to power it. And you can't require a warehouse to hold the whole thing. So underlying and trying to get bandwidth flexibility and scale and uh, feature scale, we had to make sure it was low powered, it was compact, and it was cost effective. So when the customer orders just the lowest end feature set, it's cost effective for him. We had to go back to our what we call our core DNA. Um, our core DNA is our FP3 and our SROS. We had to take this stuff that's been proven. I mean, the, the FP uh, concept has been shipping since 2002. Underlying that, we had to make sure this was designed under proven technology. And luckily, we have the, the sort of the core building block. So we had scale, both the 4 again network processor, as well as features. It was two times more feature set than in the past. We also have the SROS, which has been out for 10 years. Now the new thing about SROS is we did not redesign software. You can't redesign software, our software for the core. That's starting over, that would be crazy. What we wanted to do was actually take the SROS that had today, not put it into the XRS, actually put the XRS into it. What that means is making sure that it is part of the family, just like the SR, just like anything else, which allows us to have one piece of code one piece of code that runs on every single one of our routers. One piece of code to test. One piece of code to debug, which is a huge point. We don't have two features done two different ways. We have it done one way. We have it done right the first time. And matter of fact, that feature was probably done five years ago. 
and now it just happens to be running on the XRS. Thank you.